four C's in diamonds. There is the carrot, cut, color, and clarity. Today, I'm gonna talk about color. Now after episode 10, I know what these are for. To pick up my diamonds. We have a color scale for colorless diamonds, which you can see on the GIA certificate. It is graded from D to Z. After Z, it will become fancy color, which has a different grading system. Blue. D is the whitest and the most expensive, and when you move down to Z, it will become more yellow or brown. The color scale starts with a D color. It's because ABC has been used around a lot, so GIA said, let's do a fresh start and let's start with D. The most popular choice is the colorless and the near colorless diamonds. The color difference between each grading is very small. In the lab, we flip the diamond face down so we could grade the color by looking through the pavilion. But when we wear our diamonds, we'll be wearing a diamond's face up. So the yellow and the brown tint will be as obvious as when it is face down because of the fire and scintillation. We have these master stones in the lab where you could place a diamond next to whichever is the closest to the color and grade them under the daylight equivalent fluorescent light. Or use a white cardboard and place the diamond face down and grade it under a fluorescent light. The DEF color, which is in the colorless category, doesn't have a huge difference between them. You may start to see a little yellow tint color in F or G color. But to be honest, you'll be wearing a diamond in different kinds of lighting, so you can't really tell the difference. I know with some cultures, they like to stick to the colorless category because the color is very important to them. They might think the yellow tint or the brown tint is a flaw. While some people like to have a big diamond, so they could compromise on the color. Red. Please like and subscribe and see you next week.